So today I'm gonna to show you a morning routine that you can do that's gonna take two and a half minutes that I really want you to start incorporating every single day, whether you're working out or you're not. And it's the exact same thing that I do. It's got three different parts. That's gonna really, really help you, I promise. And it starts right here at the sink, where I want you to just put a couple bottles of pull-on spring water right next to your sink the night before. Because when you wake up, the first thing I want you to do is drink them. Because what I know about myself and you, likely is you're gonna wake up dehydrated. Unless you're getting up in the middle of the night to drink water, you're gonna wake up dehydrated and you do not wanna start your day that way. Even a 1% decline in hydration can lead to a 5% drop in mental and cognitive functioning, which is not how you wanna start your day. The second thing, by the way, that scale down there, I'm gonna show you something you can do with that too. But the second thing I want you to do is invest in a doorway pull-up bar. And it's the perfect thing for you to set up is to put it somewhere in your bathroom, in your closet, whatever you have to do to make sure that you do this every single day. Because if it's somewhere outside of your bathroom, you're likely not gonna do it. And what I want you to do is spend one minute just hanging from the bar like this. And I want you to do it with two things happening. Number one, your feet need to be in contact with the ground. Now I'm not weighting myself there, but they're there to kind of help me to support my body. Because what the feeling you should have is a dropping of the pelvis. As soon as I have my feet and I let go and I hang, I should feel my pelvis separate from my spine to give me more spacing and decompression in that low back. So anybody that has back pain is gonna feel way better by doing this, and even if you don't, it's gonna fortify yourself so that you don't have it in the future. The second thing I want you to do from this position is try to just push your chest through the door. In other words, lean myself forward through the door. Because what this does is it works on spine health on the upper portion of your back, that thoracic spine. We spend most of the day in this position, this poor posture, rounded out. If I can get thoracic extension, I can not only improve my posture, but overall spine health from top to bottom. That's gonna serve you well by maximizing that mobility of your back up all the way through the entire kinetic chain. So I wanna have this position here for one minute. Then when I'm done with that, I shake my hands out, take a brief little rest, and I turn around, and this time, I'm gonna allow my feet to come up. And this position here is now obviously engaging the abs. So now I'm gonna turn this into a core exercise. It's also obviously a grip strength exercise. And one of the things we know is that maintaining and maximizing grip strength as we get older is gonna help us to maintain our health for longer, right? We decrease our risk of falls. And not only that, but we just improve our overall function if we have a good strong grip. So one minute of that, and that's it. However, I did mention the scale before, and it actually ties into the concept of grip and grip strength. Because instead of standing on this, though you're welcome to do that, what I want you to do is actually see if you can dig up one of these old versions of this type of scale, not a digital scale, but this type of scale. And you extend your arms out in front of you and you squeeze as hard as you can. And you get a good measurement of how much force and grip strength you can exert onto the scale. And what that does is it gives you a baseline to assess your neuromuscular recovery from your workouts. Because if you register, let's say a baseline of whatever I was there, 100, if I drop by 10% on any given day on any given measurement, it's a good indicator that you're not recovering from your training. So if I were to drop down to 90, I might know that I need to sneak in an extra day of rest between workouts to make sure that I'm fully recovered before I start to do my workouts again that day. It's just a good objective way to use yet another bathroom tool to give you more insight into what's going on in your body. At this point, guys, when you've done this quick little routine, you're ready for your day. If you're looking for the workouts and the stretching and the meal plans of what's gonna help you to feel your best and look your best, you can find them over at athletics.com. If you found the video helpful, share this routine with somebody else and I promise you, it will help them as well. Click subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a video when we put them out. All right guys, see you soon.